I'm not a purist by any means. So I, I like the collective uh, version. I also like the fact today's uh, life, everybody has a little bit of everything. So to me, it's a little bit like um, a mosaic. Yeah, it's a little pieces of a culture has uh, become our world. So I think um, my work right now is similar to that. It's a little bit reflecting little pieces of all cultures, and uh, but it's also come together as one image in there. I came to this country, I wanted to learn how to be an uh, artist. So I, I came to uh, New York University, I studied directing in a theater school. Later on, was, um, I found that I actually can't find a job in this country because I'm Chinese and I, there's no Chinese role written for you. So there's no Chinese, not many enough Chinese music for you to sing or Chinese play. For you to do, then I realized that I have to be my own storyteller. Then that's the why I decided I, I needed to be a director. I needed to initiate, uh, create my own project. So I wanted to find a way to encourage American artists, composers, writers, and actors to perform Chinese repertoire because Chinese uh, play never got into American class from school to, you know, to the stage very rare have happened. You know, people would say, oh, I'm going to stage a Chinese play because it's really cool. Mm -hmm. I think uh, my mission at the time, early on, was to really push that, to show people, we all can do it, and I can do it with the uh, English text, who can adapt it, and so should every American uh, director or European director should be able to do it. <laughs> Journey to the West. It's a great story for us a vehicle. So I thought this could be a Chinese circus animation have kung fu combination. Would I could reach a broader audience in Europe or in uh, in America, which is also true that the monkey Journey to the West was um, performed. So you know we toured so much when we performed in Lincoln Center. Was the longest piece has ever performed in Lincoln Center history. I think it's interesting. Sometimes it is an advantage, an easier advantage. It's more about how the tradition can be relevant in the 21st century. If this um, tradition can move forward for the next generation, whether they still become a valid, they're still a part of our life. From first production I did um, from Piano Pavilion, that was completely Chinese cast, and then come to the Dragon Spring of Phoenix Rise, and Tim Yi uh, is the designer, production designer, and the rest of it is all from all walks of life. So I was, I'm feeling like um, it's feeling like a United Nation. In today's world, we we need a really great um, Chinese stories. You can only tell a story. You can only tell an interesting personal story of somebody's journey in order for somebody to understand you, to, um, to communicate or appreciate your effort in life. Yeah? I, only in that we can find uh, um, sympathy, or we can find uh, what, we, um, what we can share. My job is in so making people interested in Chinese culture. I'm not concerned whether they understand a lot, but you need to be interested to want to understand, then go to the next step. Without interest, you can't force fit in people to like your culture or love your culture. I had people love my production or I had people really hate my productions. 
And I found this is quite normal because if they are feel emotionally about it, it means they you have touched something um, very important to them. A song uh, or a work of art, you know, something people appreciate that immediately without any um, introduction, without any explanation, you're already connected because you're immediately being welcomed in their home, in their heart. It is the art that will transcend us. It is the art that can inspire us to go on, to inspire us to look at out of our window, to appreciate other human beings, how other lives, and to, to teach us a different lessons every day. I think art is the ultimate kind of uh, um, vehicle for us to live in this um, this, gen uh, this uh, century.